Hello everyone. This is still April 4th um, after I put my space together and then changed my storage around. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about something that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, as some of you know, I've been, um, I've worked through a very, very strange, difficult, uncomfortable situation since Christmas. But anyway, fast forward to now, after everything ended uh, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, I don't even know. I'm just so removed, so far removed from that. Um, what I did notice like near the end end is that a lot of my hair was coming out. Um, like, and I mean, like, I don't mean like, like massive amounts. I just mean like, you know, normally we're supposed to lose like what, a hundred hairs a day. Um, but a ton of hair just kept coming out of my head. And, you know, and when I clean, you know, there's tons of hair. It's not the cat. It's like long blonde hair. So anyway, I, the last video I did this morning, I believe, I'm seeing myself and you can see, you know, for the most part, my hair is white. Um, I try to make it sort of blondish. I color it because it's the back part of my hair seems to be taking its sweet time um, just going white. And once it goes white, um, I'm just going to let it go. As you can see um, by looking at the front of me, there should be roots at the top of my head. There's nothing. It's just my hair. Even when I try to make it blonde, it still just remains white. It's like the weirdest hair ever. But I don't mind it. It's like who I am. This is me. So anyhow, um, yeah, when I was looking at that video, I'm like, oh, trying to chop out the parts of like the back of my head. So, and I kept putting off, putting off, putting off, putting a color on my head. Yes, I do it myself. It's from a box. I've done it for years. I'm not going to pay $300 again. Did that once. Actually, my husband did that once um, to have my hair look um, almost like I had a hat on. Yeah, I was so uncomfortable with it. Anyway, I did not like it at all. I wanted part of my own hair showing so that that, that when it grew out, it wasn't so noticeable. But now they did the whole thing. But anyway, I learned my lesson, so I went back to just doing it myself. So anyhow, the reason I've been putting it off is because I was just creeped out. I'm like, is that okay for my hair? Like, is it going to fall out? And as I was grabbing this box today, I've had it in the cupboard for quite some time now. And I thought, okay, after seeing that video, I'm like, I have to do my hair. And as I grabbed the box, I remembered... Way back in the day, in the 90s, I loved him to death, but I was with a really, it was a very, very difficult relationship. And I remember at one point, um, like right now, like today, yeah, I colored my hair and I even cut it. So it's going to be a surprise for when you see me next. It pretty much looks the same, but it was looking really straggly and I was like so over it. But anyhow, back in the day, I used to go and have my hair cut, um, and layered. So anyhow, I'm sitting in this chair and the guy says to me, do you know you have like a bald spot? And I was like, what? And I'm thinking, oh, he's so dramatic. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And he was like, no, no, seriously, you have a bald spot like the size of a toonie. And I was like, what? No. And so anyhow, sure enough, he swings the chair around, puts the mirror up. Thank God I was sitting down. I would have dropped to the floor. I was like, oh my God, in my head, the words my dad saying, creeping alopecia, that means where your hair falls out. Yeah, it's like this, uh, yeah, it's, uh, anyway, it's horrible. So yeah, I sat there and I was like freaking out, not in front of him, but in my head, I was freaking out thinking, oh my God, all my hair is going to fall out. So what happened was my hair was pretty dark back then. Like when you saw me turn around, like it was kind of like a, a very, like um, a dark blonde. How do you say that? Dirty blonde. So the good thing was, was that you could see my scalp as clear as anything. Like somebody had just 
shaved a little, you know, toony size, you know, round spot on my head. So what I would do is take my mascara and I kind of would color it in a little bit and it would sort of be the color of my roots. So that's what I did until it grew in. But the weird thing is, is that when it grew in, it grew in completely white. So here you go. Fun fact. So that's why I waited so long to do my hair now. Like I didn't know I even still had that memory. But I guess, you know, seeing the amount of hair that's like coming out whenever I would just like pull my hair down be like clumps of hair. And I was like, oh, like, oh my God, it's going to happen again. But I didn't even remember that. So that's why I was nervous because if I just came through a very uncomfortable situation involving a guy, I guess my body was hanging on to that memory of my hair falling out again. So the good news is, people... I still have all the hair on my head. There are no little bald spots. My hair now is pretty much the same color. And um, and I like my little cut. Yeah, I cut like a good inch or so off my head. And so, yeah, I really like my hair. So there. So now I have a cool place that you'll see probably tomorrow. I can't even remember what the video is about today. Wow, and get it together. Um, but yeah, the next time I shoot something, you'll see my hair. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. Oh, the video that you're watching right now was me a week after the big move out, air quotes, big move out. And I was repotting all the little leftover plants and the, the extra plants that I went to um, purchase to replace plants that had left the building without any notice. Anyway, I love you all. Hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now.